Hey everyone, Maddie Hoops here. Um, so I'm trying to convince my mom that I need a Yorkie. I want a female. I don't know what to name her yet because I don't have her. Probably something like Emma or I don't know. But yeah. I've always liked the name Emma. There's also other names. But comment down below what names you think I should name her and if I should get a Yorkie. And don't worry, if I do, hopefully I will. Then she will be in more videos to come. Bye! The best options to consider as a pet if you live in the city because they adapt well to homes of any size. Another reason to consider the Yorkshire Terrier is the fact that they are more hypoallergenic than other breeds. Their human-like hair allows the coat to manage their dander more effectively, which means there are fewer contact issues to worry about with Yorkies. Here are some additional Yorkshire Terrier pros and cons to review as well if you are thinking about bringing a pup home to add to your family. List of the pros of a Yorkshire Terrier. Their size is an advantage for many households. The Yorkshire Terrier provides a small size that is closer to the toy breed, but there is no daintiness that you'll find when you bring this dog home. They might be less than 7 pounds, but there is a sturdiness to them that makes them feel like a fierce protector. Their size makes them easy to carry around when you are running errands. You can walk them on a leash without difficulty. They also like to snuggle in the lap when you have some downtime. Because they are small and energetic, anyone in the family can safely walk them without difficulty. If you have younger children in your family, then this breed could be the perfect addition to con- Yorkies are excellent companion animals. As with most other toy breeds, a Yorkshire Terrier is an excellent companion dog for people who worry about the size or strength of larger dogs. Yorkies are an excellent choice for seniors, individuals with disabilities, or people who have medical problems that limit their mobility. Because this breed can adapt to almost any size of living space, including studio apartments, there is almost nowhere that isn't suitable for them if you are looking for some companionship. It is easier to travel with Yorkies than with other breeds. The Yorkshire Terrier usually fits within the weight restrictions that are placed on pets when you travel. That means you can stay in more hotels with them, fly with them without having them in the belly of the plane, or spend less on boarding fees because of their size. You'll need to pack less food for them as well, which means your expenses while traveling or less as well. Since these pups love human companionship, this advantage makes it easier to take your dog along on your next trip instead of leaving them at home to fend for themselves. You don't need to give them lots of exercise to be healthy. If you have a large dog breed, then you might be walking 1 to 2 miles per day to ensure that your pup gets the right amount of exercise. With a Yorkshire Terrier, you can get away with a walk around the block and some playtime in the house or out in the backyard. Yorkies don't need a lot of exercise because of their overall frame and general excitability. 
They will tear around your home throughout the day whether you go for a walk or not. They also move with a certain grace that you don't see with other breeds. Yorkshire Terriers are inquisitive, curious, and lively. If you love to explore, then a Yorkie is the perfect companion to consider. Yorkies can be a friendly breed. If you can get your Yorkshire Terrier some social time with other humans, then they will turn into a happy pup that will be quick to embrace someone you know. Terriers are standoffish by nature, so they will read the vibes that you have for other people. If someone comes over and you don't want them there, then the Yorkie will bark until that result occurs. You can teach this breed that it is okay to accept strangers without liking him, and then vocalize threats of danger when they occur. There is minimal shedding with Yorkshire Terriers. Because the coat of a Yorkshire Terrier is closer to human hair than standard dog fur, the amount of shedding that occurs is minimal. That means there is little dander produced that leaks into the environment, so sneezing and cleaning are less of a problem with this breed than others. You can shear the coat close to avoid frequent brushing to create a further advantage in this area. The only real issue to look for if you prefer the longer coat is to clip around the groin so that leftover mess doesn't happen after the dog does its business outside. Yorkies are a long-lived breed. Most toy breeds have a longer lifespan than larger dogs, although there are always a handful of exceptions to that rule. The typical expectation with this advantage for the Yorkshire Terrier is 12 to 15 years. Because injuries are the leading cause of premature death with this breed, you can help them to live a long and fulfilling life by taking some simple precautions. Avoid using flea powders, medication, or similar items unless there is a specific dosage for the breed. You will also want to train your Yorkie to not climb onto chairs or high places if at all possible because jumping down could fracture a leg. The Yorkshire Terrier can come in other colors. Although the breed standard for the Yorkshire Terrier is steel and tan, there are some other colors that are possible which go against the standard. Some of them are almost all gold or tan. There are dogs that have a brown, almost chocolate color instead of that bluish-gray hue. Some have white patches as well. Yorkie puppies have black fur that eventually turns into blue steel, but some of them never experience this changeover. This outcome occurs because some of the dogs in the terrier ancestry that were working in the mines were colored in black and tan.